Hello mini creators! Welcome back to the second episode of Getting Crafty with me, Various Heather. Today we're going to be making a Father's Day themed tie card just in time for Father's Day. This was one of my favorite crafts when I was in kindergarten. I think the reason why I liked it so much because it reminded me of a pop-up book. It was in 3D. To create today's craft, you only need five different supplies. The first thing you'll need is a bunch of paper, a couple colored sheets and at least one sheet of white paper. The second thing you'll need is scissors. Please use safety scissors or get the help of an older sibling, friend, or adult if you don't know how to use them correctly yet. The third thing you need is glue or tape. The fourth and fifth things you need are coloring utensils, such as pencil crayons, markers, even crayons, and extras. On my card, I used leftover stickers from the last project we did. And that's all. Let's get started. Step one, choose a colored piece of paper for the outside of the card or the shirt. I'm gonna use green. Take the piece of paper, fold it in half the short way, like this. Next, take your white piece of paper and do the same, fold it in half. Cut along the line you just made. The half sheet of white paper is for the inside of the card. This is where you'll write your message to your dad or whoever else you're giving the card to. Before you tape or glue the white paper to the inside of the card, it's a good idea to write your message. Time to tape or glue. Perfect. Now take your card and set it to the side. This way if you've used glue, it'll give it time to dry. Next, take either the white paper that you have left over and color it, or take a colored piece of paper and fold it in half. Make sure it's the same size. I'm going to use green, but it would probably look even better if you used two different colors. Blue and red, orange and pink, purple and green, whatever their favorite colors are. Take whichever sheet of paper you're using, either colored construction paper or the one you just colored in yourself, and fold it in half the long way, not the short way. This is going to be used to create the tie. Make sure you get the fold nice and crisp. This is what will create the 3D effect of the tie. So for the tie shape, you wanna cut out something that looks like two triangles, one that's really big and one that's really small, like this. Really big triangle. And stop, make sure you leave a space. And a small triangle. Unfold and you have your tie. Feel free to make extra snips if it doesn't quite look the way you want it to. There, pretty snazzy, huh? The next steps are to decorate your tie. Use different markers, pencil crayons, stickers, pens, highlighters, whatever you have in your craft supplies. After you're done decorating your tie, time to move on to the next step. For the next step, we're creating the collar of the shirt. Take the front of your card and find roughly the middle. You can do this by folding it back. Press it only at the top. That's the middle of the card. What we're going to do next is take one full snip of our scissors, a couple inches, and we're gonna make a cut through the middle of the front of our card, like this. One full snip. This is gonna be our collar. Take each side of the cut and fold to make little triangles, like so. Perfect. Make sure to fold the flaps carefully. You don't want to rip the collar. The second last step is to take our bow tie and attach it to our card. It should naturally fit into place, right where the tie gets skinny and where the collar starts. I used tape when I did so and I rolled it like this. I then took the bow tie, made smaller tabs, by folding down the corners. 
and put the roll on the corner. I attached it to the collar like so. You can use glue or tape. Just make sure you make small folds in the tie so that you have somewhere to attach it. Leave it folded to create the 3D effect, like so. Last step. If you haven't already, the last step is to write a message in your card. Who's your card for? Did anybody help you make it? This card is also great for birthdays. If using red and green, it could be a Christmas card. Maybe it could be a clown-themed birthday card for your friend. Who knows? So many possibilities. That's today's tie card. What did you think? What design is your tie? Are you giving this card to somebody for Father's Day? Or is it maybe another occasion that you've made this card work? Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to continue seeing craft videos from me and the Southeast Regional Library. For parents or older mini creators, links are in the description. Bye! And don't forget, stay crafty.